Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are gonna take a look at painting the bulkheads from the Necromunda box set. And as you can see here, we have our part already separated from the sprue and given a prime of Vallejo Surface Primer Light Gray using an airbrush at around 25 to 30 PSI. You can see here as we have the uh, part, uh, it's not attached to a base or anything, so I basically uh, attached it by a, a little jeweler's clamp. I'm gonna use Thunderhawk Blue. I'm gonna use a uh, medium-sized uh, base coating brush here, and basically gonna begin applying the color. I thin it out just with the dampness of the brush, uh, really just, you know, the residual water that's uh, left behind the bristles as you work your way around. And of course, uh, because I have the color in a slightly thinned out fashion, uh, I will have to apply more than one coat. And as you can see, see as I lay the color down um, you can see how like the primer is still kind of showing through and because we have to apply more than one layer uh, I'm being mindful of my brush strokes so that I'm going left to right and then my next layer will go uh, up and down and I do that just for a couple layers Kalia green shade is next and with a heavy helping of Lamian medium and, uh, we're going to use uh, two drops of Liquitex Floyd, and we're just basically going to thin this color way out so that uh, it doesn't change the overall value too much of the areas of the model. And so basically we're just going to allow this to reside within the recesses around the bolt heads and into the little, little nooks and crannies and things of that nature. But overall, it's not going to change the value of the flat, the big flat broad areas of the model. And of course, as you can see, some areas it gets a little bit heavy, so I just simply wipe the excess off my brush and begin drawing off the excess away from uh, you know anything too heavy once it's dry we're gonna come in with some Fenrisian gray we're gonna grab our larger dry brush for this and basically what we're doing is gonna dry brush this uh, onto the uh, surface and of course uh, going against the grain of the details so a lot of the details are kind of left and right and such so I kind of work on a slight angle to the uh, to the model and that catches most of the edges, but on for the larger flat panels here, I do a semi-circular motion uh, into the flat panels. And as I work the color around, you can see how it basically starts to fill out the uh, central areas. And so I just work out it just a little bit more and basically fill those panels out just a little bit more, get a little bit more brighter color in those areas. Rhinox Hide is next, and we're going to use some of the uh, fine sponge. You typically can find this in other booster packs of miniatures, or even if you head to the dollar store or the big box stores and get like you know the uh, touch uh, touch up brushes. They're made of the same kind of sponge. And as you can see here, I have clamping action tweezers, and I'm basically dipping it into the Rhinox Hide and uh, applying it to the uh, model very carefully, keeping a very very light hand as you do so. I often use tweezers just because I don't like get my fingers dirty with a lot of paint or anything like that. And of course the best way to use the sponge technique is to keep a very light hand. That way you get all these tiny little nicks and crannies and little dots and spots and all over the place. Iron Breaker is next and this is going to be uh, applied by sponge as well. We're grabbing a fresh, pe fresh piece of sponge and we're basically going for corners in that inside the areas in which we had laid out the uh, Rhinox hide. And as you can see here, we're, again, we're applying this up fairly carefully and uh, being uh, somewhat uh, careful as we work our way around. Of course, I'm working on the bulkheads themselves uh, and such because on the larger body panels, I will uh, do something just a slightly different. Fenrisian Gray is next. We're going back to this color. We'll slap it onto our palette. We're going to take out our fine detail brush here or artificial brush, whichever brush you happen to be using. Thin it out of color just with the dampness of the brush. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to create that kind of chip method. And basically we're going to highlight the bottom portion of each of the little abstract kind of uh, Rhinox hide kind of shapes as we have, you can see here. And so basically this trick is just essentially highlighting those points and creating the illusion that these points are kind of chipped paint and just kind of revealing the uh, primer layer underneath the uh, bulkheads and such again it's an interesting kind of fashion uh it's uh, something you can also do instead of doing like the metallic uh as we followed through with the rhinox hide of course you can see i'm also getting the uh, big dents i'm just doing the highlighting the bottom portion of each of the big dents bringing more color and contrast to those and more uh, you know obvious uh attention to those details as it were next we're going to take some lamian medium we're just going to throw it right onto our palette and we're going to take just a little daub of the rhinox hide and basically what we're going to do is we're going to create little streaks and everything those little rust streaks and we're using the same brown because uh well why not because uh you know it's uh it's rusty it's dark it's got uh, brown qualities as well as uh you know lighter qualities as well and so very quick carefully i just kind of create quickly run streaks and such and you know follow bolt bolt heads and things of that nature but when 
it's all said and done, as you can see here, we have a convincing little bulkhead all ruined up, but that's it. It's as easy as that. Well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming.